Thomas Aquinas begins the third part of his Summa Theologia by asking whether it is fitting that God should become incarnate, and he answers yes. His reasoning goes as follows. First, to each thing, he says, what is fitting for it is what belongs to it by reason of, of its very nature. And he gives an example. To reason is fitting for human beings because human beings have a rational nature. And then he says, the very nature of God is goodness, and we can complete the syllogism with him and conclude that what belongs to the essence of goodness, whatever it is essential for goodness to be or do, is fitting for God to be or do. But, Thomas says, it belongs to the essence of goodness to communicate itself to others. Therefore, he says, it belongs to the essence of the highest good, God, to communicate itself in the highest manner to the creature. And this is brought about chiefly by his so joining created nature to himself that one person is made up of these three, the word, a soul, and flesh, as St. Augustine says. Hence, Thomas writes, it is manifest that it was fitting that God should become incarnate. Now this is a fascinating passage, and I think it's worth uh, thinking about, discussing, and even praying over as we think about the uh, upcoming nativity and the incarnation of Christ. I'm especially interested in this uh, premise that it belongs to the essence of goodness to communicate itself to others. So I'll leave you with this thought. How is it that goodness is essentially needful of being communicated to others? How is it that goodness wouldn't be goodness in itself if it failed to communicate itself to others? I think it's interesting that Thomas uses this particular aspect of goodness to explain the fittingness or appropriateness of the Incarnation. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Goodbye.